Hi there. Welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, we are going to be learning about Behance widget of Elements Kit plugin. Now, before you start using this widget, you have to go Elements Kit. After that, Elements, then scroll down. There, you have to make sure the Behance feed is activated. After that, click Save Changes, then open any page with the Elementor Page Builder and search Behance. And there, you'll find Behance feed by Elements Kit. Drag and drop the widget on your page. And in the left side, you have to provide the username of your Behance account. After you put the username, you'll find the data. Now in the next control, you have the option how many data you want to show. There you can show up to 30 data. After that, if you go to layout, there you have around 6 options. You can choose any of them. After that, you have column count. By default, it's selected to 6. But I want to use this 3 column. After that, you have the column gap. Let's make the column gap 30 pixel. Alright, now if you go to style, there you have all the options to work with the color and typography. Here you'll find the widget tab is opened and there you'll find the background color, padding, border type and the border radius. I want to use the background color red and the padding I want to use is 40 pixel from all side. After that, if you go to the header card, there you'll also find the background color for the header. Let's choose the background color completely white. After that, you have the option to choose an image as the background color. There you'll also have the padding. Here I want to use padding top 50 pixel and padding bottom 50 pixel. All right, now if you go to profile picture, there you have the option to increase the profile picture size. Right now it's 40 pixel, but let's make it 80 pixel. After that, you have the margin right. Let's increase the margin right to 25. And if you go to the username, there you can work with the username color, text shadow and the typography. From the typography, you can work with the font family, font size, font weight and etc. I want to increase the font size. Now if you go to the user description, there you can work with the icon. I want to keep the icon as it is. After that, I'll change the icon color. Alright, now if you go to the header button, there you'll have the option to work with the follow button and the message button. The settings for both of the buttons are same, so just to show you how it works, I want to work with the message button and there I want to change the background color. The background color I want to make is little bit red. After that, I want to change the text color white. Now if you go to the card container, there you can work with the background color and the padding. Let's change the background color black and keep the padding as it is. After that, if you go to fit card, they will have the option to work with the background color, box shadow, margin and etc. Let's use the padding from all side to 15 pixel. After that, go to hover overlay. Now let me make you understand what is hover overlay. If you hover any of the item, that means if you keep your cursor on any of the item, you'll find an icon and it'll also find a shape just behind the icon. So this is your overlay. From here, you can change the overlay color. Right now, I want to select red and I want to decrease the opacity. After that, if you go to the circle size, there you can increase the circle size of the icon. Let's make it 60 pixel from the 20 pixel. After that, you'll also have the option to change the icon. I want to keep the other settings as it is. Now, after you've done all of your work, click update. So this is all about the introduction to the setting of the Behance Feed widget. Thank you for watching this video.